Hey guys, Scare9 here. Welcome back to my channel today. And in this video, I just want to do a very quick damage comparison between the sleeper simulant and rocket launchers like the curtain call with cluster bombs. Now, I do have to say the numbers that I got out of this actually took me way by surprise. Going into this, I was really expecting both weapons to do generally about the same amount of damage. However, after crunching all of these different numbers, I can tell you guys it's not even close and it's a lot bigger of a difference than you might think. So now for the data testing, all we did was fly into an Eater of Worlds against Argos. I made sure I was actually the same power level regardless of which of the power weapons I had equipped. I'm actually 353 power level in this gameplay. I also picked Argos because he's stationary, he has an extremely easy critical spot to hit, and there aren't any damage multipliers during this encounter. Based on my experience, it's just a great way to test any weapon that you guys want to compare to another. So to start off with, let's go ahead and see how much damage the Sleeper Simulant put out. At my light level, it was doing 95,356 damage per shot times 8 shots that the Sleeper holds, and you have a grand total of 762,848 damage. So with the Sleeper, it's pretty cut and dry. The critical point on most bosses is very easy to hit. Now I will say, if you do manage to miss a shot, you are losing a significant portion of that damage. However, it's still not as much as you would miss by missing a rocket because you get eight shots with a sleeper and only six rockets with something like the curtain call. Now with the curtain call, it's a little bit more variable depending on how many of the cluster bombs hit. I'm going to say on average about seven of them hit to do these damage calculations. So during my testing for the curtain call, I found that it was doing around 71,942 damage per shot. Then whenever you consider that curtain call, has six shots, you were looking at a total of 431,652 damage. So obviously the sleeper nearly doubles this, which is insane. I did not think the difference was that much, but based on these numbers, the sleeper simulant is much better at putting out damage. Now there are some other facts to consider. With the sleeper, if you miss a critical point, you're doing half, maybe even less damage. So you definitely need to be using it on a boss with an accessible critical point. Catalyst and Argos are both great examples of this. And then another factor is that the curtain call, you can actually empty all six shots in way quicker time than you can fire all eight sleeper shots. However, that being said, I don't think the lost time really makes up for this damage. Like I said, it's nearly doubling the damage output, which is quite crazy. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it's quick. I wanted to crunch some numbers for you guys. It looks like the sleeper is the more significant weapon to use in these boss phases. And I cannot wait to see what it looks like with a full fire team of six of them. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like rating and to share it with your friends. If you're interested in watching either of the two videos on screen, you can click their respective invitations to be taken to them. If you're brand new to my channel, make sure that the giant version of my logo on screen to be subscribed for more awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I will see you in my next video.